you know, as far as just us getting that news and not being quite sure of what will happen next year as far as, you know, your employment. So mm. but I, mean, I'm, I, I know God will take care of me and I will be wherever he wants me to be. But um, I have been very prayerful about that. You know, I don't have any fear or doubt, but I it know is God difficult. will move. I mean, he will. He will. And that's something similar to what I'm going through is that I know okay. God can do it, and, but you haven't seen the answer yet. Mm-hmm. And, exactly. you know, I told a friend of mine, she says, well, you know, where's your faith? And I said, no, you got to understand the way I call it a faith walk, when I, um, you remember what, if you ever had to get on public transportation and you were waiting for a bus and mm-hmm. you're at the bus stop and there might be more than one bus coming to that bus stop, so you're looking right. over the hill, you know what I'm saying? And yes. so you see a bus, but you got to make sure it's got your number on it. That's the right <laughs> bus. Amen. That's got to be the, the right, right bus. bus. Amen. But you know that bus is coming, right? We know mm-hmm. the bus is coming. And so I tell people, I said, this is how I describe my faith. It's not that I doubt God. I just don't know when the bus is coming. Right. I don't know. Is it the right bus? Is that my bus? But you but know what? Know the bus will keep... be on time. It will Hello. be on time. Hello. It is coming. It will be on time. And oh. it's going to have. It's going to be your bus, and God has Amen. not got so I, this is the in, this is the picture I always put in my head. I start looking for that bus. I start Amen. with knowing that God's going to send something for me, and that yes. I just have to keep looking. And I tell I let God know. I said, God, I'm looking for that bus, and I'll start looking at every avenue. I'm not putting anything, any obstacles in front of Him for when that bus is coming. So I just right. want to ask you. It's difficult to wait at that bus stop. It's difficult. Mm-hmm. It's not Amen. impossible. It's not impossible. And your bus is coming. Your bus Amen. is. I will see that. I know we heard a couple of more dings this morning. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Pastor Corey, good morning. Pastor Corey, good morning to you. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for calling in today. Good morning. I hear one thing is coming. Good I'm on a loud garbage. I'm on a loud garbage truck, guys. So I'm gonna go on mute. Okay. That's fine. If you have any prayer requests, you can tell us ahead of time. All right. Thank you. Good okay. Morning. Wonderful. Good All morning. Right. Um, Does um, anybody else have any prayer requests before we get started? Good morning. I do. Um, this is Sunshine. If you guys could play, pray for my entire family. Um, Pray for protection. Pray for um, preservation and righteousness. Um, okay. Pray for our leaders. Pray for my daughter in school that she can concentrate and keep her head. My son for his protection as well, please. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You got a laundry list there. You said protection, our leaders, daughter okay. and son. Well, country. Okay. Anyone else? Good morning. It's Jennifer. Uh, two prayer requests. Continue praying for Pastor Alan Campbell. But also please pray for a friend of mine, Michelle Fuller, who is looking for employment. Um, she was let go from her position a few months yeah. ago. And, you know, the job market still hasn't bounced back and fully recovered. So please lift her up in prayer as she continues to seek employment opportunities. Okay. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Okay, anyone else before we get started? Okay, okay. Well, usually I start with a a, a, a scripture, and this morning's scripture was a little harsh, and then I'm just going to let um, Chuck start and open in prayer. And it was Romans 6.23. Oh, good morning. Oh, okay. It was Romans 6.23, and it says the wages of sin is death. And I really didn't want to start my morning talking about sin and death. But, you know, the but is the big but there. It says the but, the free gift of God is, is this, his remarkable, overwhelming gift of grace to believers is eternal life in Christ. 
And I was focused on those words, remarkable, overwhelming, and gift. It's to us, the believers, people who put their trust in Christ, that we not only have eternal life, but we have life here on earth and more abundantly. And so we're not going to focus on the sin and death. We're not going to focus on the the issues or the situations that may be in front of us, but we're going to focus on that gift as I was just talking to Chantel, that we are expectantly waiting on, we are going to focus on the gift that is from God through Jesus Christ. Okay, go ahead, um, Chuck, if you want to get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Heavenly Father, that we come across, Heavenly Father, this Friday morning that we're able to use Friday morning prayer and utilize as a unit, Heavenly Father, to come to you, Heavenly Father, with all our wants and needs, Heavenly Father, as you said, within your word, Heavenly Father. So we just want to thank you for allowing us to come together, Heavenly Father, to pray to you. Heavenly Father, we pray, Heavenly Father, for everybody on this line who needs prayer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We know, Heavenly Father, that we're in trying times more than ever, Heavenly Father, with everything that surrounds us, the spirits, the bad spirits of the enemy that surrounds us, Heavenly Father, with music, Heavenly Father, with television, Heavenly Father, with with people, Heavenly Father, with with discouragement, Heavenly Father. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, that you grab upon us, Heavenly Father, this Friday morning, Heavenly Father, as I got on social media yes. and tagging, Heavenly Father, as I got on social media and message, Heavenly Father, thousands of people, Heavenly Father, to come about, Heavenly Father, to come to us, Heavenly Father, so we all can pray, Heavenly Father. But we know, Heavenly Mm -hmm. Father, that there are so many distractions within this world, Heavenly Father, that is hurting us, Heavenly Father, and and having us to idolize everything else but you, Heavenly Father, because we can't see you, Heavenly Father. We Mm -hmm. rely on Jay-Z or Rick Ross, Heavenly Father, before we rely and and get questions or answers on you, Heavenly Father. So I just want to come today, Heavenly Father, and ask you to bring your power and your strength, Heavenly Father. Bring your knowledge that we need, Heavenly Father, in order to keep going, Heavenly Father, because we're in very trying times, Heavenly Father. We're in times to where people don't look to you, Heavenly Father. So as we look to you this Friday morning, Heavenly Father, please give us the power, Heavenly Father. Yes, my and the name energy, Jesus. Heavenly Father. I pray, Heavenly Father, for tomorrow, Heavenly Father, the single parent form, which has never really been done before, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, that people will come as a unit, even married couples will come and give us the information that they have, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and be supportive, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for what they know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for Jennifer's family and friends, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Sunshine's family and friends, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, as you know, I experience being laid off at CMS, Heavenly Father, not having anywhere to go, even when I had a family, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and they cut me as a custodian, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but you found a way, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, you gave me a break. But everybody doesn't have that mentality, Heavenly Father, or that relationship to know, even though we know that Chantel has an amazing relationship with you, Heavenly Father, and she has an amazing faith with you, Heavenly Father. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that she doesn't get discouraged from that situation because we know, Heavenly Father, that once one door closes, the next door opens, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And sometimes we pray for that door to close, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for the other door to open because there's more in that other door. And if it wasn't for you cutting yes, off or yeah. shutting that door, shutting that door, excuse me, we wouldn't know what was in the open door, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So we know with Shantae's leap of faith, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we know with her expectations, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you bless her upon blessings, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and take her to the next level, just like her ministry, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, just like her church. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you show off and show out and show in. Amen. Just Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. I pray, Heavenly Father, 
thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for just allowing that situation to happen this week to where the principal gave her that information to give her time, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, so she could step out on faith, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, because some people know last minute, Heavenly Father, in the name of yes. Jesus, not knowing where to go, Heavenly Father, the last hour. She got months ahead of time, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, just to know that you're about to do something amazing and incredible in her life, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, something that she can't even mm. imagine for herself, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, so that she can go back to the teachers and say, look at what God did. God has done. Amen, amen. Uh, look at what God man. did for me. So I pray, Heavenly Father, for everybody on this prayer line, Tanisha's business, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, she can curse people out. Yes, she can go off on people and all that beat, Heavenly Father. But it's amazing and incredible how she can call every week, Heavenly Father, and come to you, Heavenly Father, and say, Father, I love you. I need you, Heavenly Father, in the name yes, of Jesus. So I just pray that you bless her upon her faith, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray Increase that you her show faith, her you, just like you're showing me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we're both wild children, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But you still find a way, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to show our faith, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray upon blessings, upon blessings for everybody on this prayer line in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Dear Heavenly Father, and we do pray together, so please feel free if you'd like to pray. But I'll go ahead. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you again for another day that you have caused us to get out of our beds. I always have to stop and thank you for that. There was a time in my life that that was not the case for me. And so, Lord, I never fail to praise you first and foremost, for what you have restored in my life, what you have allowed in other people's lives, whether they know it or not, that it is a blessing. We thank you, Lord, for the ability to get out of our beds, for the activity of our limbs, for the focus of our minds, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, again, for all of those who do call in and share with us, Lord, on a Friday morning on their way to work while they're at work, but before they start their business day. Heavenly Father, so we thank you for all of that. But we do have prayer requests before you, Lord, and we know that you answer our prayers. We know that you first hear them and that the answer sometimes is on the way as we are still praying. We know that from Daniel, he said the angel was released while you were yet praying. So we know that we can look expectantly because we know that you are our Father, you are our Abba, and you are going to provide all of our needs according to your riches and glory, Lord. There is nothing too hard for you. You own all this whole earth and everything on it, Lord. So when everything belongs to you, we don't have to worry about where our food is coming from, where our shelter is coming from, where our jobs are coming from. You know the needs that we have, Heavenly Father. And so I ask that you just open the eyes of all of us so that we can see when we're going to have our needs met, how we're going to have our needs met. But even if you don't open our eyes to see it, Lord, we walk in faith and not by sight so that we can continue to hold on to your unchanging hand. Dear Heavenly Father, we have sunshine on the line this morning asking for protection over our country, our leaders, over those in charge, over those in supervision. Heavenly Father, we know that the mighty weight of carrying other people and carrying the authority and responsibility is not easy. So we ask that you give them wisdom, Lord. We ask that you correct their hearts, Lord, correct their motives, Lord, change the agendas from evil to good, Heavenly Father. Make those who say they can't work together, make them be at peace so that they can, Heavenly Father, so that the nation of a whole can move forward, so the nation as a whole we can grow, or as a state, Heavenly Father, we can advance so that the people do not perish in the land, Lord. She also asked for prayer over her daughter and her son. Heavenly Father, we pray every week for the children. Watch them in the hallways of the schools. Watch them on their ways on the buses, Lord. Watch them even in the restrooms, Lord, because we know Satan is able to go everywhere, but we know your spirit is always there ahead of the enemy, Lord. 
you know what's going to happen today, tomorrow, and and forever, Lord. So we know and we can trust you that you will yes. be there with our babies in the mighty name of Jesus. Cover them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Allow no evil spirit, no bullying yes. spirit, no yes. evil thing to come against these children. Calm them yes. in their minds, Lord. Calm them in their spirits yes. and allow yes. them to learn in peace. Watch over them. Make their grace be able to to explode, Lord, so that their minds are able to conceive of places they didn't even think they could go. Wake their dreams come true, Lord, because we know the children dream and have innocence in their dreams, Lord. So we ask them, Lord, that you fulfill their dreams. Let them have goals that they can reach. Let these teachers be there for them. Give them wisdom on how to reach each and every child, how to encourage each and every child, and how to support each and every child. We ask that you cover them again in their minds and in their bodies, Lord, so that they can give their best to the time that they're in that school and we'll be able to have praise reports of how well they have done this year, Heavenly Father. Lord, we ask that for Chantel, the news regarding the schools, Lord, but we know I'm not, I'm not even going to receive it as a negative. We receive this as a promotion. We receive this as something being moved forward. We receive this as, oh, this is the old, but God is about to usher in the new. Heavenly Father, we know that you are more than able to secure what people need as far as employment. Even the other young lady, Michelle, Heavenly Father, and that she's seen unemployment for a couple of months, but we know that you have a position for her, Lord. We ask that you provide it. I know when Chuck went seven months without employment, and we prayed every day, Lord. We prayed every day and every morning and every night. We prayed over every application, and therefore we knew that when we put our trust in you, you do not disappoint, Lord. So we may get a rejection here. We may get a turn away there, but you never disappoint. And what you have ushered him into today is better than what he left behind. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you, and we know we thank you ahead of time for what these ladies are going to be walking into, whether it is continued employment, new employment, new responsibilities, new opportunities. We thank you in advance, Lord, right now and today for these things that you are giving to us, Lord, and we're going to be walking in praise. We're going to be running in praise for what you have done for our sisters, Heavenly Father. Jennifer brings again also Pastor Alan Campbell, Lord, we are warring in the spirit over this man's life. We have heard good news with the prostate cancer. We have heard turnaround reports from what it was before when he was about to go into hospice. And so we continue to bow our knee, lay prostrate, and war in the spirit over this man's life. He is a pastor. He is able to give to your flock. And therefore, we ask that you continue his life and continue his purpose here on this planet, Lord. Strengthen the family as they want, as they gather around him. Strengthen their minds, strengthen their hearts, Lord, so that they will be able to understand that this is a miracle of God, that he is even with you every day today. Lord, I pray for all of those who are sick, my brother included, Lord, that have seen near-death experiences for the three times in the last year, but every day you allow him to open up his eyes and say, I'm in the land of the living, and let me get busy about what I need to do for the Lord. We pray for Stacey who has these pulmonary problems that are causing her to not be able to be an advocate for children with disabilities. We ask that you rise her back up. We ask that you cover her lungs. Give her the breath, Lord, that she needs to go about making a difference in the lives of people. And Heavenly Father, as we come at the bottom of the week again, Lord, we thank you for a fulfilled week. We thank you that we are all here. We thank you, Lord, for what you're going to usher us into. Lord, I also want to pray for Tanisha. Tanisha has been faithful on this line, and she is praying that you will advance her nonprofit business, Lord, so that she can be able to give back to the community, Lord. I pray today that you open up honest doors, Lord, real doors, truthful doors of people who want to work with her, not shysters, not people who are trying to take her money, Lord. We rebuke all those spirits of greed away from her nonprofit, Lord, and let her be able to hold events that will 
bring her community together, that will support the people in her community. We ask these things in Jesus' name we pray. But Heavenly Father, again, I come back. We are about to start a weekend. Cover each and every one of us on the highways and the byways. Pastor Corey and his truck today. Keep him from all hurt, harm, and danger, Lord. As we go along our way of this weekend, cover us, but also give us the opportunity to talk about the goodness and the salvation of our God. Let us have opportunities to sow into someone's life. Let us have opportunities to be a blessing to others as you continue to cover and bless us. I ask that for everyone on this line and everyone who even wanted to be on this line and could not. I ask blessings in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amen. Glory. If anybody would like to um, speak, have a word, I know sometimes God, when we're praying, God has given individuals a word. If not, if you would like to pray, please feel free at this time. Well, um, family, I did forget to add another person to the prayer list. So in your private time, please lift up a childhood friend of mine in New York. His name is Ronnell Armstrong. He posted yesterday that his wife passed away, and she couldn't have been no more than late early 40s and they just got married a few months ago i mean literally it hasn't even been a year i don't know the cause of death but he posted that today is her funeral he didn't tell a lot of people so i don't know all of the details but lift them up as lift him up as he mourns the loss of his wife he's now a widow i'm sorry to hear that news but we will lift him up yes. and um a private prayer um, again, is there anyone else who would like to add anything? Or if not, Chuck, if you'd like to, we can go back into prayer over this young man. I just feel so hard about that when we lose people that we love and them just being married. So however you feel that. Okay, what's his, uh, what's his name again? Ronnell Armstrong. Ronnell Armstrong. Okay. Mm-hmm. Also, we're going to pray for uh, uh, Jim Ross. You know, I'm a wrestling freak. You know, I grew up watching wrestling. And the commentator, mm-hmm. Jim Ross, lost his wife. I forgot the name of oh, the wow. uh, disease she had. But um, he just lost his wife this week. And I think Pastor May lost his mother-in-law, so we need to cover her in prayer. Um, First Lady Kenya May's mother. Yeah. So somebody was trying to say something. No, I think that's the vision. Oh, okay. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Heavenly Father. As we come about yes. to you, Heavenly Father, once again, I pray, Heavenly Father, for everybody who lost somebody within. The last yes, month Lord. or so, mm. Heavenly Father, as people have passed on, Heavenly Father, I pray yes. for Ronnie Armstrong, Heavenly Father. I pray that you cover him by the blood, Heavenly Father, for we know it's not easy when you lose someone, Heavenly Father, that you've known every day of your life, Heavenly Father, that's been there 24-7, even yes. when they're not there physically, they're there spiritually and mentally, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray that you go upon helping them, Heavenly Father, and guiding them mm, into so. the right light, Heavenly Father. As Rodney Armstrong, uh, uh, good old J.R., Jim Rose, Heavenly Father, have lost their wives, Heavenly Father. And you know as men, Heavenly Father, it's hard because that woman is our backbone, Heavenly Father. That women mm. hold us to be strong, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that woman is that brain, behind the engine that the man runs, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Mm, Jesus. We know that's how we function, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Even when our pride gets before us, Heavenly Father, the reality is our pride comes from that woman, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Even when we use our mothers, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray that you give them strength, Heavenly Father, and hold on to them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Find them a way to cry, Heavenly Father, in the name Jesus. Find them a way to mourn, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Find them the way to find prayer accountability, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. 
Find us a way, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as it's well needed, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for Pastor May, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as he lost his mother-in-law, Heavenly Father, in the name yes, of Jesus. Lord. As Kenya, First Lady Kenya lost her mother, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and the grandkids lost their grandmother, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you provide for them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Well, you know how their faith works, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as they come upon you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, please connect them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for Tanisha, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as she is distracted, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Whatever is in her mind right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Please remove the enemy from her, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, so that we can focus more on the prayer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as she's falling asleep, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Whatever mental issues she's having, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, please cover her, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We know that the enemy hates us coming together because two or more that's gathered in the atmosphere, the Holy Spirit shows up. Heavenly Father, and we have about yes, 10 does. people, even one yes, that does. are not saying anything on you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. They're Thank still you, on you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just yeah. pray that you guide and direct each and every one of them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. To concentrate more on this present snoring, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that we go on this week, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and come back next week, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to talk about what was going on in prep, Lord, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Even when we was interrupted in, in, in snoring, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we still testified on our testimony. Yes, we do. In the mighty Father, name, of in the Jesus. name of Jesus. Because we know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, by the enemy distracting, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, something major is about to happen. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So we just want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for giving us a heads up by using Tanisha, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to snore above us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, because I know blessings upon blessings will come, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And you show up and show out for next Friday, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray that you help us along the way, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, as we pray to you and we say to you, amen. Amen, amen. And I just want everybody to bear with our sister, Tanisha. I know that there's some medication that she takes that may cause her to fall asleep, and we love her. But we just want to encourage everyone to stay focused on God and stay focused on the prayer and that you have petitions before the Lord. If everybody's hearts and minds are clear, I will go ahead and close the prayer, and then we will always uh, meet again. Tomorrow, of course, we have our single parent forum. We hope to see most of you and some of you, um, most of you, hopefully, out with us at Conversation Peace uh, from 11 to 3 for the single parent forum. And then stay tuned for when we will be back at Conversation Peace every second and fourth Sunday. In the meantime, again, if all hearts and minds are clear, I'll close us in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, even for Denisha this morning, but we thank you, Lord, for the time that you allowed us to come before you in prayer. We thank you, Lord, for all of what you have put upon our hearts to bring before you this morning, Lord. We know that you are an answer of prayer, and so we continue to come and bombard the gates of heaven with our petitions. You've asked us to pray without ceasing and to come with you with everything that we need. And do not get weary in working and knocking and asking God for our needs and our desires. And so, Heavenly Father, I ask that you cover everyone still on this line, those who are already hung up, to meet you, Lord, and we ask that you give them a blessed weekend. Cover them again from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And remember, Amen. we love you, but God loves you. We love you, but God loves you more. Take care, everyone. Be blessed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm.
Hello? <laughs> 